Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect with me at Nitty. Last time we started out our journey, we uh, got to know a few people on board of the Normandy, and today we will visit uh, the captain. Or well, looks like only Nihilus is here. Let's talk to Nihilus. Hello, Nihilus. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Well, what do you want to talk about? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Well, I can't tell. I've never been there. I've never been there, but you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What do you want to say? Um, why are you asking? Or what's your point? What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I don't know. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Well, so much is obvious. I mean, we have a Spectre with us on board, and... Well... I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth system's operational. And why are we doing this secrecy? I mean, it's a human world. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Um, what's Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Ooh. Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Okay, I see. So, uh, that's why we have a Spectre. And... You do sound worried. Uh, I guess this attracts many people that uh, should not have this kind of technology. But also, you only told the right people, right? So why do you Are sound we worried? Expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. Ah, good ex. Uh, good. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here Credo. to evaluate you. Ah, evaluate me. Uh, is that some kind of test? Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live. A particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Well, thank you, Nihilus. Um, that's very kind of you. Um, why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Oh, that is really a good attitude you have there. I like you, Nihilus. Unlike, uh, what was his name? Joker? And, um... You are okay with this, Captain? Well... Well, I don't ask you if it's okay for you, because uh, it's about me and my future, so what's the next step? Just step? tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. 
Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I see. Uh, about these Prothean thingens? What exactly are they? What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. All right, so we can salvage their tech. Nice. Uh, what do you know about Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Uh, you mean the beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Well, the wrong hands? Uh, who might that be? Uh, do you know I that? Do. The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. And what's that? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay, so it's kind of two factions, like Terminus and... Well, okay. Let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong? Of course. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Problems. It's always problems. Get down. Well, well, well. I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't... Uh, get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Well, that's one less guy. Uh, how long do we still want to watch that? Shouldn't we, like, react and go down? Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. Nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Well, that looks like a Status ship report. thing. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more... Ah, I see. You weren't in range yet. Small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Okay. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay. Jenkins, Alenko. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Okay then. Nihilus will scout out ahead. See you, Nihilus. Status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. 
Well, he can count on us. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Okay, go, go, go. We are approaching drop point two. That thing's a nice ship. Where is it? It's gone. Ah, oh, there it is. I really like the design of it. Nice, nice. So we can walk. Hostiles everywhere. Hostiles everywhere. Oh, there's hostiles. Ah. How can I? Okay. Right mouse button. I think I can also swap weapons. Good. Uh, here I can crouch. To uncrouch. Okay. That thing is really unstable. Uh, let's see. It works. Also, in this game, we don't have munition, we just have overheating. And. Ah, Q to holster. Nice. There's another one. Okay. Q again. I don't think they dropped anything yet. Did they? Well, probably not. I'm just wasting time here, probably. Ah, is that is that a secret cache? Yes, high caliber barrel. Ah, take all. That's okay. Nice. What's that actually? Ah, uh, filter tab. Switch between item type. Select an item. Is Click the equip button to wield it. Click the Omni Shield button. Convert. Uh huh. I don't know what's Omni Shield, but that sounds okay. Now let's see. I did get some kind of uh, barrel thing. Yes. Fires larger rounds, more damage, rate of fire is slowed and the weapon will overheat more quickly. However, that does not exactly matter if a sniper rifle does it. Is that a sniper? No, it's the assault rifle. Damn it. Uh, empty. Uh, empty. And a sniper rifle. Here we have the sniper rifle. Here I want a high caliber barrel and we are good to go, hopefully. Can I also sprint somehow? Okay, spaces for this menu. Uh, if we put the weapon away, I think we are a bit faster. Uh, that doesn't look exactly good. Let's continue on. That also doesn't look very good. Uh, we can have a cutscene here. What are these balloon things? That looks dangerous. Oh. Uh, okay, I can go in cover, that's nice. So, we have two recon drones, Kef recon drones. Ah, okay, now with this barrel we overheat with each shot. And with overheating I think it takes longer time up before we can shoot again. That's also not so nice. Uh, not sure. Should I? Uh, also, we have a man down. Perhaps we should go and investigate that guy. Uh, it doesn't look too healthy. Rip right through his shields. They're at a chance. Well, we can't help him now, but we do need to get him picked up. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Can we arrange pickup? Perhaps? No? Alright. Um, also, I think I'll have to remove the barrel again from this sniper rifle. 
because it overheats too fast. Uh, perhaps I should put it on the assault rifle. Let's test that out. Assault rifle. How fast does it overload now? Well, that's okay. Can also just fire in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can only shoot small bursts before my accuracy hits very, very bad uh, levels. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, lots of bodies. That doesn't sound too good. Another cash. Ooh, some Take cover. money. Okay. It would be worth taking the sniper rifle. Okay, I think that thing is really assisting me in firing. I hit like way uh, near it. Okay, that one and that one and overheat. Ah! Damn you, drone! Drone also down. Also, we have to look out for new loot. Okay, that one is also down. Negative contacts, Commander. No contacts. What about loot? Ah, loot! Look at that. Two bodies and some loot. Medical kit, some medi shield also. Smells like smoke and death. Yes, that it does. We can talk to our squad mates. Just wanted to show that for a second. <laughs> um, Cutscene. Well, we saw that girl before in the recording, I guess. Perhaps she is important. Also, that doesn't look healthy. That doesn't look healthy at all. Wow, these machines. They are... they are machines, aren't they? I guess they are droids. So perhaps we should... Let's see... No, that's the wrong direction. Let's change weapons. We have all the time in the world. Crouch and... Can I see someone? They're down? Well, good work, Kaiden. <laughs> Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Well, I'm in charge of that squad. Why are you asking? Um, what happened? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. And... What about the rest of you guys? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Well, welcome to the Soul Survivor Club. <laughs> um, what killed them? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? And more importantly... What's a gap? The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Okay. Um, you can come with us. Come with you us. Use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Also, we have plenty of time to talk, so let's talk. Um, Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. 
They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay, so... I see. Uh, what about the beacon? Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Well, they could be right, could not. What happened to we the don't researchers know. at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. And... What was going on before the attack? Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Okay, and the scientists still live? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Well, probably not. <clears throat> So, uh, Nihilus? I've seen a Turian Spectre around here. There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Okay. Let's go. Move out. No. Oh! Assault rifle. Take. Pressing I, yes, I know. I don't want to do that right now. I want to loot. Loot, loot, loot. Uh, armor piecing rounds, chemical rounds. We'll check that out. Scorpion armor. Well, now we will take a look at the inventory. Uh, we did get some ammunition. And we have armor piercing, more damage versus synthetics, and chemical rounds, toxic damage. That sounds nice. I don't know. I probably do chemical rounds for the sniper rifle and armor piercing rounds for the assault rifle so I can hit them from afar and if they still live they will take some damage over time then I can shoot them with the assault rifle at least that's the plan perhaps I should also have given Caden something uh, also armor we have the Scorpio armor which is worse than what we have right now we also got oh we got the Banshee armor uh, Assault rifle. That one is actually better in all regards. Shots before overheating, accuracy. Yeah, that looks better. So, we'll take that. I'll take that. Um, Kaiden, you are. What are you? I don't know what you are. We have no upgrades. Uh, I think he uses, yes, he uses light armor, so this one is for you. It also looks much better if I look at that with this camouflage pattern. Pattern. Uh, Ashley, I think she is a soldier. She is probably very good at soldiering. Um, are there any talents? Can I get somehow in the talent tree uh, squad? Click on a talent to spend points and improve that ability and so on and so on. Good, we could go on to pistols. Marksman, when using pistols, use boost accuracy. Well, I don't care. 
Assault Rifle, only when using Flying Rifle generates less threat, uh, heat, not threat, <laughs> and costs less accuracy for 10 seconds. Uh, less accuracy. Okay. Sniper Rifles. Basically with sniper rifles we get uh, more damage on the next shot. So we have one shot that really hurts. We can increase our armor, shield boost, restore shields over two seconds and that uses accuracy. First aid. So I could be the healer kind of First aid. Yes, I could be like the combat healer, or I could be. Um, actually, that doesn't even sound terrible. Combat healer. I mean, weapons, I guess I can do a lot of things with uh, just using the weapon. Sure, you get some damage boosts and so on, but. Squad mates can also do damage and weapons if I use them correctly. I guess I should be doing good damage without using skills. Um, shotgun inflicts weapon damage. I'm not fond of shotguns. I really like assault rifles and sniper rifles better, so I'll specialize in these two and probably also a bit in combat armor and first aid. Also, what's assault training? Reset the cooldown down times on talents. Well, that sounds very good. That sounds really, really good. And fitness is here to increase health. Assault training increases weapon damage overall and first aid. Here this is increases damage reduction and hardening. What's hardening? Not one I don't want to speculate what hardening is. Um, immunity, damage protection by 50% for some seconds. Okay, soldier. Increase health, regenerate health. Now that's nice. I like regeneration. But probably it's not worth the Hassle. It's so few. We have 120. Well, that's decent. That's like 4% health regeneration. That's decent. Uh, but first things first. I think we'll go to Shield Boost. So I can restore shields, and now we still have four points. Uh, I cannot go higher. I cannot go higher yet. Ah, I see. Okay, so we are level two, so we can go up to the third thing. Is that it? That may be it. I'll set a few points into soldier, and the rest into assault rifle. Or well, let's see now. One more into s weapon damage, melee damage. Well, melee damage doesn't matter. I want to be more the backline soldier. Or playing it safe. Um, reset cooldown times on talents. So they can be used immediately. And weapon damage overall 1%. 1% is not that much. I guess that's probably not even noticeable at the moment, so yeah, let's put the last one into Soldier. Also, we have Charm, open new dialogue options. That may be even better for, for a story perspective. I guess I'll go into that. Do I want to be a charming guy? No, I don't know. No, no, no that's, that's okay. We'll go into Soldier. Um, yes, that sounds okay. 
Then, Kaiden. Hopefully I'll not take that much time. He has throw. Uh, he is a... What is he? Sentinel. Ah, that's the mix. The mix thing. Uh, protect a mass of... Mass effect. Feel powerful enough to hurl objects. Okay, I think lift could be cool. If it does what I think it does. Because it can lift enemies out of cover. That would be useful. So he can lift them out, I can shoot them. That would be really useful. Barrier bolts, so you can take shield with a mass effect field that can absorb a massive amount of damage. And so on and so on. Up to 400 points. That's... that's... Rather good, but only 10 seconds. Decryption. Now we are getting to the point. Um, I think I'll put one into first aid. So he can heal. For all wounded party members. That's okay. It costs one medi-shell unit. Uh, that's not so cool. Uh, anyways, electronics and decryption. Increase attack explosion damage. Uh, is decryption used? Uh, open secure objects, yes exactly. So we'll want to have a couple of points in that. And... Well... I don't know. Um, barrier the first one, at least. Okay. Ashley! Ashley, what can we do for her? She also has assault rifle, sniper rifle, combat armor, assault training, fitness soldier. Uh, I don't know. Probably go with assault rifles for now. And soldier. Yes, okay. Good. Did it accept? It did. Uh, now then, I think it's again time to end the episode. Took a bit longer than I expected to uh, spend all these points, but going forward I think that will be helpful, that I know a bit what things do. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye.